Daniel, I'm, yes. I don't know what, what's wrong with Andres. Mm. <laughs> he left the meeting. Okay. Uh, I, I'm going to show you my screen. Yeah. <laughs> Let me know when you when you What's my screen? I can watch. Okay. Okay, the topic for today is shopping. Uh, first, it's important that you think for one minute about four words that are associated with shopping. Do you hear me? Um, four words. Yeah, four words. With shopping. Mm -hmm. You you can use place. Or you can check on internet. You don't know very well what words use. Okay, here are here are my words. Basket, money. Mm -hmm. mm. Stores, mm. purse. What is the last one? Purse. Uh, okay. It's P U R S H. Okay. Thank you. Uh, do you enjoy shopping? Mm. Yeah, I enjoy shopping because when I shop what I need, I'm going to be comfortable. And I also don't enjoy shopping because I'm going to spend my money and I don't want to spend my money. I want to save my money to to shop something bigger in the future. But generally, I enjoy shopping from time to time. When I need something, it's going to be important for my life to be comfortable. Okay. Uh, have, you ever, have you ever bought anything from catalog? or shop online? Never ever. Because I, first of all, first and foremost, I don't have a credit card, neither nor neither uh, a debit card. So those are two requirements for you to buy online. I don't have any any of those. And okay. um, second of all, I, I think and I understand that most most of the items is better to buy it online because it's cheaper than physically in stores in your town. But simply I don't have credit or the record, so okay. Had you ever bought anything from a door to door? So is Salesman or a street vendor? Online. No, no. Uh, the other this this is other question. 
Uh, before I asked you about shop online, and this question is if have you ever bought anything from a door to door a salesman or a street vendor? A state vendor. Straight. Mm -hmm. I don't understand what it means, straight vendor. Uh, it's when you shop outside of the town. When you are talking outside of your home, you can see different um, seals over or around the street. In Spanish, is ventas ambulantes, es decir, en la calle. Vendedores ambulantes. O door, a door to door, a salesman, is when someone. Eh, you mean, you mean street sellers? Yeah, however, you can... Ventors. What does it mean, the word vendors? Vendedores, vendors. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ferra sellers. No. You should use vendor as well. Vendors. Huh? Street vendor. Es vendedores en la, en la calle. Y... Uh, and the first... And the first words from from what to door to door is when someone door to door um, salesman. No, the, yeah, as street vendors, I have bought something when I go to some things when I go with my mom to the center because they sell cheap and sells most. Most of the time, like fruits, like oranges or bananas. Yeah, so I did, I did, and I have bought some things in the street. Okay. Oh, when someone is uh, uh, in front of your house, touch your your door, your house door? No, I haven't, because I don't trust those persons' products. I don't, throw, I don't trust those persons' products. It no. can be a fraud most of the time. Okay, yeah, understand. Mm -hmm. uh, do you ever go to market? Did you ever go to market? Yes, I do. Okay. Here, there is a famous, famous one. It's called Punto Bueno. That is a, su a supermarket, a supermarket, I can say. Because it's super, it's super. And they sell things, they sell things cheap, very cheaper than compared to other supermarkets. So I think it's interesting to buy there although they are new here, so they don't have as much variety of products as the other supermarkets that are established since uh, the beginning, established before. Okay, when you um, go to market, uh, do you always uh, go to the same store? Mm, no, pretty much no. I go to different to see what is new, to see what can I find that it that catches my eye. Okay. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Uh, how you can see the main object is dealing with this. A speaking session is the first one, is to talk about shopping. The second one, to teach some idioms concerning the shop. 
And the third one is to understand advertisement about shopping. And the fourth one is And in this slide, you can see um, different words daily with shopping. And, and, and Daniel? <laughs> yeah, what happened? Um, What's up? It's a mosquito <laughs> on my skin. Uh, I asked you that if did you know what does mean these words? Yes, I know. Yes, I do. You understand what? Well, mm. yes, I do. Word? Okay. 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 And now you can see different idioms concerning a uh, shop. Uh, Do you understand what it means to shop? Yeah. What What means to shop? To shop. To buy. To go. To go buy a product. <laughs> no. Yeah, I asked you about idioms. This idioms is any with with is concerning a uh, chop. But in this case, to chop is no used um in right way. How you know? You know is to chop, yeah. It's is right. However, if you want to use this um there, uh, as an idiom, the the meaning change. <laughs> yeah, the meaning change. Uh, I think that you don't know. However, I'm going to explain. In this case, uh, to shop means in for on, especially someone. Is when you want to inform on someone, for example, and a and a policeman about the the other bad person. Yeah. In this case to show uh, means inform on someone. And the second idiom is all over the shop. Uh, did you understand what what does mean this uh, idiom, Daniel? I think all over the shop means a mess when everything is disorganized and out of the place. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the third one, the shop floor. Mm, no, I don't. I don't know. Okay, I got to explain. Uh, the chart floor is is the part of a workshop or factory where production um, as distinct from administrative work is a career is different function. This means the person uh, doesn't work um, in administration work, the person uh, works in other uh, functions, different than administration. For example, uh, in this example, you can see the man is uh, taking a car. Yeah? Okay. Uh, the person is the shop floor. Okay. You will see um, a 
an example in which you can understand better the meaning dealing with these um, idioms. Uh, do you understand the four? Talk, talk. Daniel? No, I don't understand. Okay. To talk chalk is when, for example, in, in your home, uh, there are friends, yeah? And your wife uh, is home as well. However, uh, that your friends uh, is talking with you. However, uh, can, when your friends uh, come to your house, they are talking about working or about their job all the time. The reason a uh, talk shop means when a person is talking about job or working. When you are not working, you are in different situations. In another different situation, for example, a relax in your house is, is to talk shop. Um, do you understand my information? Daniel? I do. Yes, I do. Okay. I did. Uh, the the idioms are ripa. Do you know what means a ripa? It's a fraud. It's when you make a commitment with a counterpart and they let you down. They don't accomplish their promise. That is a ripoff. When they promise you something and then when you buy like a product, you realize that it's a ripoff, that this is not what they meant to give you. This is not what they said they were going to give you. Mm, OK. However, in this case, a ripa is uh, concerning concerning chop. Yeah? A ripa, uh, that means something that costs uh, much, or much more than is um, is get in a good price. Oh no, in a good price, no. In expensive price. Is when something uh, costs so much that you want um, this product cost. For example, a uh, ten hundred for an orange use. That's a ripa. It means it's very um, expensive. Yeah, this means a ripa. Uh, the other idioms. Do you know what this means? The other idioms. I think a ripa. It is not worthy the value. When you buy something expensive, it is not worthy to pay that much money for something that is not worthy. It is not gonna function as you would like to be function, to be functioning. So you said it's a ripoff because you pay so much money, or you invest so much money on it, and you, after you get it, you realize that it is not worthy. It is not worthy to pay that much money for something that is not gonna be function as perfect as you would want because of the money. Mm -hmm. One I think, yeah. So Bergen hunting is like a house when they where they sell they sell so good so good goodies. They sell some so good pairs to their clients. 
all the time. A bargain is per, like promotions, like something mm -hmm. like an offer, a deal. A, a good price. Mm -hmm. Is is we um something that you bought and a really good price. As you say before, it's cheaper. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, you can see my screen now, Daniel. Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. You can see different uh, advertisements um, about shopping. Uh, what do you think? What is the meaning Black Friday so? See you. Yeah. There is a, a, an American, North American culture. I, I think we are starting to implement that here in, um, in South America because mm -hmm. of the United States. They are influencing us to do that. Um, that is a Friday, a Friday, and they call a, that Friday a Black, a, a, a Black Friday, because there is a day where every public businesses offers to the clients a good price for their products. So everything is below like 50% off. Every, every, every price of the product normally is 100%, but they discount because you, if you if you buy that product that day, they discount you fifty percent of the product. That is not that is not gonna happen every day. Only that day, that Friday. So they call it Black Friday because everybody wants wants to know to buy the discount prices for the products. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you know uh, the this is on. The last days on every November, every year. Every it's every year once a uh, once a year, only one day a year. Yeah, in, in United States, uh, this isn't isn't on the last days on every October. November. 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And. About about the other statements, spots on the on the right, on the right, no, on the left side. And what do you think about this one? This one. Do you understand the meaning? Yeah, that, uh, no, no, no. Uh, what's on the below the woman who is mm -hmm. wearing yellow? You know, beat the bottle below, with below. a great value every day bundle. Mm -hmm. What do you do? Beat the bottle. Sorry. Okay. What do you think? Uh, this um, advertisement is, is, is the is the with Ooh, I don't know. Okay. I'm going to explain. Uh, these advertisements is dealing with internet, yeah, and bit in in this in these advertisements, uh, the English speaker is um, is using different different words, 
yeah is is something like it's a pen it's a it's a pan sorry in in spanish is juego de palabras yeah you can see bit uh, means uh, benza uh, the word buffer is used um, when you are talking about the internet the this word buffer means um waiting yeah um buffer is used use time beat the buffer means um benza in spanish benza la espera or in english is beat the weight yeah it means for example the internet they offer will not buffer it means will not wait is faster the the internet this this word buffer is used for example when there are two lines on the screen when you watch a video on youtube there are uh, two lines yeah one lines moves while you play the video the other line is is the buffer line you you have to wait for the video on this example um, is is daily with an internet is an advertisement Don't not wait for getting that. I cannot hear you. Why do you stop talking? What's wrong with your internet connection? Because I was asking you, but I couldn't hear you. I couldn't hear you. I couldn't hear you. Mm -hmm. Hear you. But I couldn't hear you. I couldn't hear you. Um, oh, I don't know what happened. Strong. I'm going to explain again about this uh, advertisement. This advertisement is is used with internet. Yeah. Uh, the word buffer is means. The, the word buffer means waiting, yeah? In this in this advertisement, you can see it is a pan. It's a juego de palabras, yeah? Uh, buffer means waiting. Buffer is, is used when we are talking about the internet. The advertisement is saying, beat the buffer. Beat the buffers. Uh, has the same meaning beat the weight 
yeah? Uh, if you don't know what means, what this means, the word bid. Bid means um, espera. Espera no, is densa. Yeah? If you use to bid, it means vencer. Vencer la espera. Yeah? Is bid. Uh, the weight will be our great value every day. The last word is paquetes. It's, a, it's dealing with internet. This um, advertisement is selling internet with an excellent Conditions. It means the 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 person doesn't wait for using for using that. Do you understand me? This yes. this uh, this this uh, is saying the 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 internet they offer will not buffer. Yeah. It means yes. no esper no esperará. This this buffer is used when you are watching a, a video on YouTube channel. Yeah, when you are watching a video on YouTube channel, you can see uh, on the screen there are two lines. One line moves while you play the video. The other line is is the buffer line. Is is the línea de espera. You have to wait for the video to continue to continue loading when the internet is slow. Okay. In, in this, this time, this is dealing with internet. They are offering internet. Okay. <clears throat> Okay. Do you understand the, the meaning they live with the green picture? Yes, I do. Okay. According to that, uh, this slide, this information, um, you can see me before a bargain yeah i explain you about it um are you are you bargain hunter mm. sometimes sometimes if the product is good mm. and it's a bargain i would hunt it but <laughs> I think sometimes when a product, sometimes, not always, when a product is on bargain, they, they sell it below the price that it, it is often valued because maybe the product is bad or it has some damages on it. So that is my reason. It depends on the product, if it is good, if it is bad. Okay. And uh, do you remember what's the best uh, bargain you had ever um, bought? No, I don't. I don't from. I don't think I have bought something on bargain ever, because I don't. I don't have that all. Maybe my mom or maybe my mom could buy a something in bargain, and I I was just a company for her, but I don't think personally I have bought something in bargain. 
I asked you this question because you mentioned before, uh, you answered. Uh, uh, you are bargain hunter. <laughs> For that, I no. as you what is the best I, I said I said I would have, have I said I I could be a hunger a, a bargain hunter only if the butter is good mm -hmm. to be to be mine. If if it is bad, I wouldn't be like that anymore. I would buy a product without a discount because I know that a product is a discount most of the time because the product is bad or because the product is about to to end date. So I don't consider myself right now. I don't consider myself a burger hunter, but I would consider. I would consider in the future maybe if if a product is good and if I top myself with a good deal. Okay. With a good price. Okay. Uh, okay. I understand you better because it means for the moment um you you haven't ever bought um, the best bargain. Bargain, sorry. Okay. Uh, if you answer me the first and the second questions, it means that, that you haven't I cannot hear you. I cannot hear you. Hello. I cannot hear you. No, is it your internet? Is it your internet or 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 mine? I don't know because. It was my internet, the call finished. But the call is not finished, but I don't know very well. Okay. Uh, I'm, going to, I'm going to ask you again. Have you ever bought something on impulse and then regretted? Or you no, never, never have bought something by yourself? But on impulse, no. But I have, I have, I have buy buy some products like shampoo or deodorant or beers or bread. Yeah, pretty much the basics. But on, on impulse, no. Only oh. if it's necessary. Okay. Okay. Uh, other question. Uh, do you know anyone who is um, Chapaholi? No, I don't understand the meaning of that word. Chapaholi. Yeah. Yes. Uh, in the beginning of this uh, speaking session, I asked you, do you know the meaning with this word? You mentioned me, yes. But Chapeholi was in there. Chapeholi. I I didn't see that word. Ah, uh, yeah, I can. I showed you before. It's the number five. However, you see me, you. Uh, yes, I I understand the meaning. You you told me before. Uh, but shop, I, 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 I understood you shop a holy. Yeah, this is the pronunciation of this word. It's shop a holy. 
this is the right pronunciation. Yeah, but I understand shot with with an uh, shapa holy. I understood like that. I mean, shopa holy, but yeah, I I don't re I didn't recognize the word, but I th it is an addict to buy things. A person who who buy things because of an addiction, they they need they need they need to buy something constantly. If they don't buy that, they are kind of uh, with an anxious or with anti anxiety yeah. to buy Do something. You know? Do you know anyone who is cheap uh, on the internet? Yes, but in reality here, close to mine, no. Okay. Okay. And uh, what do you think? Do you prefer shopping in in well-known chain store, chain stores, or in little boutiques? In well-known uh, chain stores, I prefer to to buy because it is their products are recognizable to the public, it, so it's more secure to buy there than the others. Okay. Okay, understand. Have you ever um, haggled? Have you ever haggled? No, never. Okay. You told me before. Are you saving? Are you saving up for anything in this moment? Mm, yeah, to buy a better computer, a superpower computer. I cannot hear you. Sorry. Sí, internet acá de culpa de la Uh -huh. Oh, can you see me? Oh. Hello. Yes, I can hear you. Okay. Uh, I asked you that. How has the way we shop changed over the last? Fifty years. How is the 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 what? How has the way we shop changed over the last fifty years? Mm, differently, because eventually, the time passed through, and the government requires more rules and more. Um, they advertise more nowadays than before. Uh, here, there are more markets, more global markets, and they need to cope with it. They need to be, their products need to be advertised every time they launch a new product. So it has changed the way of or buying things before you couldn't buy something with a credit card or a debit card. Now you can buy even with your phone through a QR code. So it had changed a lot because of technology. 